What's up everybody, it's the IT guy here again. In this video, uh, I'm going to cover a simple thing that some of you might not know how this all works. So, what I'm going to cover is how can you make a file that you download off the internet. Let's say for example, I just downloaded OpenShot and right on the website it says uh, this is an app image file. The only thing you need to do is make it executable and execute it. But, you know, for people who don't really know anything about Linux, who never really touched Linux other, other than besides maybe uh, play around a little bit in the um, in the UI, uh, you never really work in the terminal. Uh, in that case, you need to know what and how to make a file executable and it's pretty easy actually um, so what we're gonna do is now right now we are in our downloads folder and we have our open shot um, we have our open shot file over here so let's go ahead and right click and open this in the terminal let's do an ls so ls is actually just a list of files in there so as you can see there are a few green uh, files and there are a few red files and a few gray files. So the green files mean that the file in particular is executable, so you can run the file. As you can see, our OpenShot app image is not executable. So what do we need to do to make that executable? It's very simple, actually. We're going to use a command called chmod. And then we're going to add the plus x. And this gives the file in particular uh, the executable attribute so you can also give it a plus W or a plus R to make it writable and readable uh, but in this case that's already th that's already so because we downloaded it off the internet and it's on our uh, user folder in our home folder so it's already writable and readable by us uh, so the only thing we need to do is make it executable so we just do the plus X and then just type in the name of the file in this case it's openshot dash v2 blah 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 and then just press enter and that should be it and then you do the ls command and as you can see right now openshot dot v dot two blah 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 is in green which means that it's executable so um, this is actually just an app image this is just like an, a, an, a, an executable in windows it's just something that you can run right now but of course linux needs to know that the file is indeed executable, otherwise it will not run. Now we can just go ahead and click yes. And there we go, OpenShot opens up. We can skip the tutorial stuff. And there we go, this is basically the only thing you need to do to get this to work. So it's pretty easy, right? Uh, so if you like the video, give, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.